What's going on YouTube? Paul Tech here again. Today's uh, comparison video is going to be between the LG G Stylo and the Hydra Wave Kyocera. Alright, these two phones are offered through Metro PCS. Um, the LG G Stylo on my right is about $150 and the Hydra Wave Kyocera is about $80. Okay, so just a quick comparison, depending what your budget is, if you want to go for the more high-end phone, the G Stylo, uh, or you want to go for the more budget-friendly um, Kyocera here. So let's just take a quick look at the uh, displays here. Alright, so the LG G Stylo here is rocking the 5.7-inch HD IPS display, so you're going to get a much larger screen, and the... Kyocera Hydra Wave is rocking the uh, 5 inch QHD display. So there is a bit of a difference there. As you can see here, let's flip these two phones over really quickly. Let's look at the back here. Alright, so you have a gunmetal gray on the LG G Stylo, uh, as well as a 13 megapixel camera with laser autofocus. On the uh, Hydra Wave, you're going to get a 5 megapixel camera, okay, with LED flash. So there's a difference in cameras there, as you can see. The back speakers are um, in the LG G Stylo, right here in the corner. And the Hydra Wave, it's right there in the center, the center of the uh, back there. So um, just a quick look at the back of these phones. Both of these do have removable backs. Uh, the Hydra Wave is a uh, embedded battery, so uh, you can't remove it. But the phone is dust and waterproof, so that's a plus. LG G Stylo's back can be removed and battery can be swapped out. Both of these have expandable uh, storage, okay, via micro SD card, so that's a plus. Um, let's just look at power buttons. Power button on the G Stylo is in the back. On the Hydra Wave, it's up on top, as you can see there. Alright guys, so these are basically the uh, lock screens here. They both offer the lookout. And uh, I can unlock the phone like that. And the uh, LG G Style has several features, uh, which you can do to unlocking it. You can double tap it to uh, wake the phone or to close the phone. So really quick, let's just exit out of here. So these are basically the uh, home screens here, as you can see. So just kind of go through these really quick. So both of these phones do uh, offer the weather widget. Let's click on both so you can see. Okay, so that would be the difference in the uh, weather widgets right there, as you can see. Okay, let's go ahead and um, go back. And let's take a look at what else we got here. Okay, so um, let's go to settings here so you guys can take a look and see. Um, okay, so settings. Where are you? There it is. Settings. So this is how your settings menu is going to look. Of course, the uh, G Style offers a lot more in settings and uh, different ways to customize your phone let's see what these phones are running so this is running android uh, 5.1.1 uh, gstylo is running uh, 5.1.1 so both of these phones are running lollipop out of the box which is nice okay so let's go ahead and exit out um, let's go ahead and take a look at cameras here, okay, so like I said, uh, yeah. uh, LG G Stylo is going to have a much larger camera, 13 megapixel, and this is going to be a 5 megapixel, let's go to settings, okay, got different modes there as you can see, um, movie, now both of these record in uh, 1080p, which is nice, so you can, do 1080p recording. 
All right. And both of these have these um, back buttons, home buttons, and recent app buttons, as you can see there. So, pretty neat. So, all you got to do is just, uh, let's see here. They're all. They're all. Now, let's go ahead and um, pull down the toolbars on both of these. Okay, so you're going to see there's a difference in the toolbar there. Okay, so this one has this uh, menu here, which you got. And this one does have the uh, oops, these toggles up on top. So it's a little bit different. Okay, um, but you can edit these and... Um, that's the way the uh, toolbar looks there. Now let's try to Google something. Let's just see if there's a difference. Both of these have a 1.2 1 1 gigahertz quad-core processor. Okay. Difference, a point or way in which people or things are not the same. All right, so they're listening. So let's just Google something real quick. Uh, Disneyland. Let's try that again. Disneyland. All right, so Hydrowave does seem to be a little more on the quicker side for some reason. Um, but again, they, um, let's see what else here we can do. Let's check out benchmark tests here, the benchmark scores. Ranking, ranking. So, so resolution on the uh, Kyocera is 540 by 960, and on the G Stylo it's 720 by 1280. Okay, so all right, we're, yeah, it's all basic information here. Uh, okay, so yeah, so basically just a quick comparison between the two. So if you're in the market and you want a cheaper phone, 80 to bucks, that's all you want to spend, you can definitely pick up the Kyocera Hydrowave. If you want to spend a little bit more, get a little more bang for your buck, you can go with the LG G Stylo. And um, yeah, everything seems to work um, pretty smooth, you know. Uh, let's go to Maps. Let's go check that out. <clears throat> So. All right, let's Google something. Disneyland. Oh, surprisingly, the Kyocera is a little bit more uh, responsive than the LGG Stylo. Um, that's pretty interesting. All right, so you both of these uh, basically pops up the um, Disneyland Park. It gives you, you know, information regarding it, which is pretty neat. Okay. Uh, let's see here what else we can take a look at. Um, let's go to gallery of these here. You can kind of see the difference here. So, you know. This is the way this gallery looks here. And this is the way it looks here. So, oh, and another thing here, if you go to, um, it's kind of neat. It has a little uh, menu on the side there, which this one doesn't have. So you can go to frequently use, downloads, play store, display home screen, or uninstall. This one doesn't have that. So it's kind of just a little neat feature. Both of these do have the uh, Google. Google. Um, yep. So anyways guys, just a quick comparison between the two here, as you can see, depending what you're looking for, if you want the uh, waterproof, dustproof, $80 phone, with the LG G Stylo, a little more sleek design, a um, little more premium look, you can go with that one, um, just depends what you're looking for, okay, so, um, yeah, definitely slippery in the hand on this one here. All right, guys, Paul Tech signing off. 